Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Hibbet Smile and I am the Assistant Director of Curriculum and Instructional Design here at Fairfax University located in Fairfax, Virginia, right outside Washington, DC. We are so happy you could join us here at the NACAC College Fair and you could join us on this rainy Sunday afternoon. Um, I can't wait to speak to you about some exciting initiatives that we have going on at uni our university. But first I wanna make sure you are aware of a couple of housekeeping items if you could please make sure to keep your mics on mute um, so that way we don't have any distractions. And please feel free though to write any questions that you may have in that chat box. I'll be going through the presentation first, but I wanna make sure I leave enough time at the end to answer any questions that you may have as well. So please feel free to, to write any questions you have in there and I'll make sure to gather those at the end. Now, Fairfax University of America or FXUA for short is a startup nonprofit uh, higher education institution um, that is on a mission to redefine higher education. Our philosophy is to foster an empowering learning community that elevates personal and professional growth to inspire students to be transformative leaders in today's multi-dimensional global society. So what does that mean? What we have done is develop a new general education curriculum that we think you'll actually benefit from. Now, this curriculum is unlike anything that you'll see at any other university, and I'm going to walk you through today the reasons why and how we developed this general education curriculum, how we developed the new components, those innovative new highlights that we have, as well as redesigned and redeveloped. Um, so what I'm going to walk you through is a couple of phases at a high level to show you how we came to these conclusions. The first thing that we did was focus on competencies. So we did a lot of research uh, centered around human development, as well as gathered feedback from our practicing business leaders in our corporate advisory council, which I will uh, bring up again in, in a few moments. But we really wanted to make sure that we were developing a curriculum that focused on the core competencies that would be beneficial to you as our students, as our graduates, to gain from in, in in creating a life of career, of career success and life success. So how do we go about doing this? Well, first we worked on a competency list and went through many iterations as you can see here. Um, and what we ended up with was a list of about 60 value, concept and skill competencies. Now the values are our five FXUA values of character, community, development, stewardship and peace. And we also developed a list of four groups and nine subgroups of concept and skill competencies that we believe are crucial to your success as you continue to graduate and grow into your, into your career and throughout your life. Now, what we did when we developed these competencies was we went through a comprehensive competency mapping exercise where we took each of those values, those values, concepts, and skills, and we mapped it to six conditions and 12 goals that we wanted to make sure focused on the learning outcomes of our curriculum to make sure that you were getting out of it. Now, the purpose of our curriculum is to prepare our students and graduates for two things. One, for a lifetime of social performance, and two, for a lifetime of personal performance. Now, how do you go about doing this? Well, we took those competencies and we transformed them into something called our transformative learning and leadership and practice division within our general education curriculum. Now, we took those competencies and turned them into 10 courses that focus specifically on that list of competencies that I shared. Now, we have courses in things such as practices of learning and being, uh, pursuing social impact throughout your career, designing your career to find purpose meaning in success, and being a global citizen. So these 10 courses really are at the core of everything that we're doing here. Now, you'll see here in this first screenshot, we have our general education requirements. There are there were six divisions. We have, we have added this new seventh division, TLLP is what we're calling it for short. And then you'll see that the second screenshot shows those 10 course titles that I just showed in the previous slide. Now, what's interesting about this and what we love about this is that the TLLP division makes up 40% of your general education requirements here at FXUA. So in these courses and in all our courses, you won't be forgetting what you learn after a week, after the final exam, right? But you will be 
learning the tools, the processes, the concepts, the skills to be able to use these, use the, use the knowledge and the skills that you're gaining in these courses throughout your life. So you'll be able to develop the problem solving skills, the decision making skills, the analytical thinking skills, and so on to be able to use as you move on into your career. Now, these are division learning outcomes, the biggest of which is, again, applying our, our values of character, community, development, stewardship, and peace in all aspects of our curriculum and in our daily life. We want to demonstrate practices of lifelong learning and conscious being in real life applications, and we want to develop your capabilities for self-fulfillment and social performance throughout career and life. Now, not only did we develop these new courses, but we also developed embedded micro-credentials that will be embedded within these courses and that you'll have the opportunity to earn as well. So when you graduate, not only will you be able to tell your employer, yes, I have my undergraduate degree, but you'll have be afforded opportunities for internships, as well as opportunities for digital badges, which will show your employers that you are proficient and you have the skills in XYZ, XYZ competencies, which I'll show in just a minute here. So how do we develop these micro credentials? So remember that uh, table that I showed earlier with those four groups and nine subgroups. So we took a look at those competencies and we identified in yellow highlight here, we identified the competencies that we thought would work really well for our micro credentials. And then we took it a step further. So we took another layer and we identified 14 of those, which are the ones highlighted in blue. And we asked our practicing business leaders to rate them, to take those 14 power skills and understand what's important to the organization. So we used a scale here where one was not important, two is somewhat important, and three is absolutely necessary for their business. And what we're really happy to see is that those first eight competencies scored an average rating of 2.5 or higher, meaning that these competencies are very important or absolutely necessary for their business. And that means they're important for you as new graduates and as entry-level employees to have those skills as you enter their businesses to show that you are contributing employees. And let's face it, to have these skills to be um, better contributors to society as well. So what we did was we took our feedback and we did, a micro, and we did another mapping ex exercise. So we developed a list of micro-credential possibilities and we mapped it to those 10 courses that I mentioned earlier. And what we ended up with was our top five micro-credential priorities that will be going live this fall. So they are in personal resilience, global citizenship, career success, social performance, and decision-making and problem solving. So again, as I mentioned earlier, not only will you be graduating with your degree, but you'll also be graduating with these digital badges, with these micro-credentials in these skill sets that you can go to your employers and have a leg up when you, when you graduate. Now, we took it a step further. So we went and we transformed not only that new general that new division in the general education curriculum, but we have transformed the entire general education curriculum. Let me show you how. What we did was we applied our framework and we identified courses that would be appropriate to this framework that we have developed, centered in human development, centered around business first, centered around you succeeding in career and in life. So what we have done is we have transformed 10 additional courses, making it a, a list of 20 uh, full courses. Those ranging in oral communication, world governments, uh, psychology, sociology, et cetera. And what we have done here is throughout our general education curriculum, throughout those seven divisions, we have touched every single division except for the languages division. We have, you can see here that all the courses highlighted in yellow have are new and have been redesigned and redeveloped as well. So that way, when you are graduating from our curriculum, you're not gonna be forgetting about our course in a week's time. You're gonna be taking these skills and you're gonna be applying it throughout your career because we have provided the context. We have provided experiential learning opportunities. We are providing self-assessments. We are providing reflective writing and so on to really dig deeper in these courses. And we're not just asking you, what do you wanna be? What do you wanna be as far as whether it be a computer scientist or a, bit, or a business analyst or wh whatever it may be. We are asking you, who do you wanna be? We want you to be thriving and sufficient lifelong learners and, and, and active members of society and social performers and social impactors. So no matter what degree or what concentration you major in and what specialization, 
you can go out there and lead the next generation of leaders. And we are passing the baton on to you to thus pass on to the baton to the next generation to be active members of society. So with that, I'm gonna end it there and I'm going to um, ask if there are any questions. Again, thank you so much for joining us here today at the NACAC College Fair. It has been so wonderful um, being with you and, and, and having you join us here. And we really hope you um, look into more opportunities through my colleagues' sessions later on this afternoon. I have three additional colleagues that are presenting um, right after me. And then we also have our live chat feature that my colleague is managing as well if you wanna ask some one-on-one -on -one questions. But for now, I wanna say thank you. I wanna say congratulations in advance and go out there and do good. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna see what questions we have in the chat box. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to type those in. I'm gonna gather those questions now.